went into an Arby's to get some water, and this has been sitting in my car for about a week. I'm currently at my Arby's, and uh, let's go see what's growing. And this is going to validate a lot of the horror stories that were shared in the comments of my previous video. The first test we're going to do is a quantitative test, meaning we're going to see how much bacteria is in the water. Now remember from a previous video, I said that we don't want to see more than 500 colony forming units in the water. And that being said, let's go see what might grow. Now you guys are in for a real treat because after almost 10 years of working with petri dishes, I have never seen this happen. I can tell that there are two different bacteria species growing on this plate, and whatever they're doing, they're turning this petri dish black. But what's interesting is most people think bacteria has a bad smell, and this bacteria actually had a very sweet smell, and that should be a pretty big hint to what it is to my microbiologist friends. But regarding whether this is concerning or not, we're gonna have to look at another dilution. This is the second dilution, which means each of those circular colonies represents 100. And if you do a quick count, there's at least 50 here meaning there's at least 5,000 colony forming units per milliliter, which is at least 10 times the amount that's considered safe. Now this is important to remember. This does not represent Arby's or really any fast food restaurant as a whole. This just represents that one location. But what it really comes down to is whether or not the operator or the manager or the supervisor are actually doing the cleaning that's been standardized throughout the entire franchise. But in the case of this specific franchise, I think this is more of a you don't know what you don't know kind of situation. And let me explain. When I performed the same exact test on the ice from this franchise, the ice actually came out fairly clean. And from that, I can only conclude that they're cleaning their ice machine fairly well. But what they don't know is they've got some sort of contamination issue somewhere else, whether it's in the actual tubing or on the nozzle of the actual dispenser. But there actually is a really easy way to determine if their cleaning is actually effective you can send it to a local microbiology testing location and they can tell you if your cleaning was effective or not. That being said, to show how important this is, I sent that Petri dish out for PCR testing, which takes a couple days. And in part two, we're gonna find out exactly what was growing in that Petri dish. 